Hey guys, Alden here, back with another Sunshine Island video, and it's a really interesting one today because we are going to be jumping in and looking at some upcoming sneak peeks, as well as some recent balance changes, including some skins, and I have a unique voucher code that you guys are going to be able to use, but you're going to need to stick around because I'm going to be sharing that voucher code at some random point during this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the recent balance changes. Now, if you guys missed this, there was an announcement in game, which you guys can see on the screen right now. Now, this basically announced some pretty simple things, the first of which was notifications. So you're now going to be able to get notified like you would for normal games or for when you get a message. So if you're off the game, you're going to get a notification for projects and for when you receive help from your guildmates on planes or on ships which for our guild has been absolutely wonderful during the guild tournament because we were previously running a system over on discord where we would have to tag certain players during certain time periods and it was a whole messy business so the notification system is definitely a much needed change next up we have tournaments now tournaments have seen a little bit of a change as well we've seen improved rewards and adjusted rewards brackets we also um for the the tier systems when you move up usually you would have set rewards so they, those were like nails and hammers and stuff like that but now it's going to be one of these random chests that they've kind of brought into the game so if we hop on over into the shop right here so for example like the chest you see over here in hot deals it's not exactly the same rewards as this it is slightly different but this is the rough idea next up we have projects now they did make some adjustments to specific projects and those were the delicious vegetable projects as well as the feathers project so you'll see feather weather went from 3500 up to 4200 the rest of the stars were changed as well and over on the max uh, system here uh, i think we went from 6900 carats uh, up to 8,300 and then from 40,000 wheat down to 35,000 wheat. So those were the two uh, changes, the two projects that we saw changes to over here um, for the guild projects. They also just made a change where you can now as a guild move from silver 2 in the tournaments up to silver 3. Our guild luckily did manage to win, we came first and we got promoted so we're now currently in silver 3. Silver 3 is now the maxed guild league you can get to so next time there is a guild tournament you're not going to get promoted from silver 3 up to gold 1 for example because right now the whole gold bracket it doesn't exist the maximum league you can be in is silver three while we're on the topic of guild tournaments they also added a slight change to the amount of teams that can be in a guild tournament this went from a max of 10 up to a maximum of 15 guilds in the guild tournament of course this also includes the changes to the brackets and, and who kind of fits into which rewards section another thing for the guild and the player tournament you guys will have noticed that there is now a rest period of 24 hours between between each tournament so every single Monday or it's Monday for me there's going to be a 24 hour rest period and then the tournaments are going to start on each Tuesday so that means after the player tournament you're going to have a one day break then the guild tournament will start and so on and so forth for me personally I actually quite like a little bit of a break it feels like quite a grind especially during the guild tournament so even getting a one day break feels like a little bit of a relief. All right, so that concludes all of the recent balance changes that we have had in the game. Now, I want to quickly hop over and look at the new skins that we have also got in the game. Now, now you'll see I have the uh, package up right here, the Warming Hearts package. It's going to cost you £10, and you can get the Hearty Bakery skin, you can get the Hearty Diner skin, and you can get the Hearty Coffee Brewery. Now, I'll show you what these look like in a little bit more. More detail so here on screen you guys can see we have the bakery down at the bottom and then above it we have the diner so both of these are currently rocking the hearty skins on them honestly I'm a fan of these skins I wasn't too sure at first and in some of my other videos I kind of spoke about how I just didn't think they fitted the theme but now I've got all of the skins for well most of the buildings 
they all kind of fit together a little bit better and I have to say I really do like the bakery skin in specific. And moving over to the Tropicalis Island, you guys will see we have the coffee brewery skin here and uh, I have to say, yep, big fan of this one as well. It's very nice indeed. So if you've got some spare cash and you want to splash out, these skins are pretty nice and you're going to get a little bit more bang for your buck as well. You're going to get 1,150 gems. You're also going to be able to grab a rune, some coupons and a little bit of fine fertilizer. So I have to say, I really like the skins and you're going to be able to get some additional rewards if you do buy this pack. Next up, we have the Festival Pass. Now, there has been a few changes in here, but we'll get to them at the end of this little segment. First of all, you're going to see this is celebrating Women's Month. So the whole Festival Pass season and some of the other stuff is going to be celebrating Women's Day and Women's Month as it's, you see the title at the top there. And we have to collect the decoration. So this is a three by three decoration and it is going to actually be over on the Tropicalis Island. So let's go ahead. We're going to collect that right there and we're going to jump on over to the Tropicalis Island and we need to find somewhere to put it down. So it looks like we're going to be able to fit it in right here. So I'm going to go ahead and store this one. And if we come over to decorations, you'll see we have the fearless girl over here on that left hand side. It's going to give us plus 25 happiness, which is pretty nice. Definitely uh, a little bit more than the tropical flower bed. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to put that down. And that is how she looks. I must say, pretty snazzy. Yeah, I do like this decoration. Pure gold. Definitely looks pretty cool and definitely fits in with the Tropicalis uh, Island themes. So moving back on over to the Festival Pass, there hasn't really been too many other changes to the pass. You'll see all the rewards pretty much stay the exact same. If we scroll all the way to the end and if I change my camera location, you guys will see we have the uh, Women's Day profile picture right here. That's the last re reward. And we have the Women's Day uh, profile frame up there as well. So those are the two last rewards on this tier. Now, speaking of the last rewards on the Festival Pass tier, it has been kind of alluded to that we're gonna get some additional rewards at the end of the pass. But unfortunately, I can confirm that this is not a change that has been implemented in this season's pass. This is something we are going to need to wait for, but it has been confirmed that the end, at the end of the festival pass, there is going to be some sort of additional rewards that we're going to be able to get in the future. Now, I don't know whether that's going to be in the April pass or potentially even later than that. But one thing I would say is remember the development team for Sunshine Island is pretty small. So all of these changes that we are hoping to see nice and quickly, unfortunately is always gonna take them a bit of time to develop because they're not a huge massive company that can just rattle out updates every two seconds. They need to make sure they, they've got a dedicated team and they need to make sure they take their time and make sure they get things right. So yeah, that's a little bit of sad news there. I was hoping to see these changes made this month, but unfortunately it looks like it's gonna be pushed to next month or potentially even later than that. But I can confirm there is gonna be changes made to the end of the pass at some point in the future. Okay, so now it's time to talk about some sneak peeks and some upcoming content. So first things first, you guys might have seen it. It has been kind of alluded to over on the Discord server at the end of March. So the last week of March, which is the 25th through to the 31st, there is going to be a week long event for Easter. And this is going to be an Easter egg hunt. Now you guys can see on the screen right here, there is some little eggs and they are going to be hiding on all of the different islands all in your game. And the aim of this event, I think, as far as I'm aware, is to just find these eggs. But it's not going to be as easy as you might think because they're not just going to be on the main islands. There is also side islands. If I hop into game right here, you'll see there is loads of different possible places they could be and there's loads of little islands that actually lay off the coasts of the main islands. So there's going to be a lot of different places you guys are going to have to hunt for these eggs, but I'm definitely really looking forward to this one. 
Now, I did speak to the development team and they did confirm that they are really trying to make the events more diverse and funner for you guys in the future because they feel like the last two events were fairly similar and they really want to try and expand and develop on those and just make the overall experience in events just a little bit more entertaining. And I definitely am looking forward to the Easter egg hunt. I'm looking forward to getting involved with you guys going, I found this one or you found this one so I can now get it hunting all over the different islands. Now, I'm hoping they don't make it too easy. I'm really hoping they actually make some of the eggs really well hidden and we've got to really get our detective magnifying glass out and zoom right in to find them all. But yeah, I can confirm that event is going to be coming on the last week of March. So definitely one you guys are not going to want to miss. And it's also been confirmed that at some point, hopefully in April, fishing is going to be coming to the game. Now you can see a screenshot up on the screen right here. This is the community manager, Lily basically telling us that fishing is going to be coming into the game, but the development team is still working on it. We don't know how the fishing uh, is going to work. We don't know if it's going to be a fishing building. We don't know if it's going to be a mini game. We don't, we don't know anything really about it other than the fact that fishing of some kind is coming to the game at some point during April. But I'm really excited for that. I think fishing in the game would be awesome. Um, definitely need some more content updates. So hopefully that is going to be able to kind of tick that box for us. Uh, but yeah, I can confirm fishing is coming and hopefully you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. So lastly, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching all of my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. And once you've hit that subscribe button, thank you, you guys can get a voucher code. That voucher code is going to be Amelia Earhart. Now, the text will be up on the screen so you guys can see it right here. That voucher is going to give you a profile picture with Amelia Earhart in it and five fine coffee seeds. So hopefully you guys do enjoy that voucher codes. If you want to see more voucher codes in the future, definitely subscribe if you didn't just click that button. Leave a like on the video as well. And let me know down in the comments, which one of the things I've spoken about today are you guys looking forward to most? And which one of the balance changes you've seen recently in the game have you found the most helpful? But thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.